Absolutely, and I don't blame you if you weren't doing taxes today. It was too nice outside. Plenty of clear skies, nice cool temperatures, and it's starting to cool down pretty quickly now that the sun has gone down. Already down to 48 degrees at the Waco Airport. Now, keep in mind, the airport typically gets lower readings in the city, so nonetheless, we're going to be a little bit closer toward the 50s in downtown. 59 right now in Temple, 55 Bryan College Station, 60 degrees currently in Colleen. Now, right now, we're being controlled by high pressure. That means nice clear skies, all across the Lone Star State as well as surrounding states. But because the high pressure is sitting right on top of us, we have next to no winds whatsoever. As a matter of fact, we've been kind of controlled by those northerly winds throughout the day, bringing that cooler, drier air throughout the region. Well, now they're going to start to shift, but they're going to be doing so very slowly. So with little winds tonight, I can expect temperatures to drop down into those low 40s for some places. Most of the region should be in the mid to upper 40s. Nonetheless, 47 for tonight. Nice clear and calm. I think we can all accept that as you're waking up starting out your Monday. Look at that 52 as the bus is arriving. Winds are this time now coming from the south. That's going to result in some slightly warmer temperatures by the afternoon. Look at that. Your lunch hour already up to about 70 degrees. Not that bad, though, considering we were in those 90s at least early last week. Then we got back into those mid 70s by the afternoon. A little bit of cloud cover is starting to come back, though. Notice those winds are coming out of the south at 14 miles an hour with a couple of those gusts. Here's where I break it down for you. High pressure pushes its way out into the east into Louisiana. You can already start to see the southerly flow starts to bring a little bit of that cloud cover into places like San Angelo, San Antonio, mostly along I 10. It slowly starts to push its way into I 35, I 45. Places like Austin are going to get it first by the later parts of the evening. Then it starts to creep its way up all the way as far north as Dallas. Then we start to see yeah, a little bit more widespread coverage right around 9 o'clock on Tuesday morning. Then we start to have the chance for a little bit more shower activity. It's actually pushed its way farther out to the west, so we don't have to or to the east. Excuse me. We don't have to worry about it all that much, but there is still the chance for a rumbles of thunder and possibly even a little strike of lightning. As a matter of fact, severe risk is very low right now, just general thunderstorms, but that could easily change. We will keep you informed on air as well as online. Look at those temperatures, though. They stay pretty steady. Rain chances come back Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday ahead of our next system, and there it comes in all the time for next weekend. But boy, those temperatures certainly drop, guys.